Okay guys, hi, this is a Julian Giller, Director of STEM and Technology for the Charter Schools here in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Um, we're going to do more of these tutorials as time goes by. Uh, for the first one I have, um, you guys have seen the LCCP Visual Experience trailer and that displayed what the new school is going to be looking like. If you have not, I encourage you to please check that out. It's on our YouTube channel where you get to see a little mock-up trailer of the school. Uh, populated with graphics and cars and people walking and uh, music, uh, different shots and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you how you can access the school um, three-dimensionally so you can take a look at it yourself on your own time. And we'll be giving you this to you, our community, so you can take a look at it um, to see what's coming, what's in store for next year. So what we're going to do in this package file, I'm going to include the actual visual experience, which is the video, the trailer. Okay. You're going to need this setup file. This installs something called DirectX on your computer. Um, just be mindful when you're going through the install file. There is a question to, to install the Microsoft Bing toolbar. Just click no to that part and then go ahead and click next throughout the rest of it and then you have this file the bin motion file and this is really what you need to after you've installed this file then you will go and install this file okay so that's what we're gonna do now I'm gonna actually open this up and it's really not an install file it's just a file that you click on so you can actually operate the Unreal Engine 4's engine that lets you see what the school is gonna look like so I double click bin motion I'm gonna click allow access And in the future, if you have like a virtual reality headset, you can actually put that on while accessing this and looking at the school. And here we are. I don't know how long it'll take to load on your computer. It just depends. Okay. Um, so when you get into the program, which we are now, and like I said, I got here by double clicking this file right here called BIM Motion. Okay. And it usually takes you to a startup window. So I'm going to kind of go into that right now to show you to show you guys how to navigate all of this. So here's your information. Here's a standard mouse setup. You can use this for a keyboard and mouse, a gamepad, or any other type of devices you may have hooked up to your computer. But I have a mouse and a keyboard. So to look around, you know, I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and use the arrow keys to navigate where I want to go. Or if I don't want to use the arrow keys, I will use the W A S D key on my keyboard. If I want to literally move up or down in the scene, I use the Q and the E key. Okay? So I'm gonna click OK on that and I'm gonna hold down my right mouse button and I'm gonna look around. Now this is a much smaller representation of the trailer video you saw. In the trailer you saw cars and people and all that kind of stuff so I'm actually using the up arrow and I'm holding down my right mouse button to actually go to that area see if I hold if I look this way and I click the up arrow I'm gonna go in that direction if I go right with the right arrow I'll go this way left arrow I'll go that way and the back arrow of course I'll go backwards so I had to strip down the trailer version so you guys uh, so this works on a, a generally speaking normal computer setup you really need a, a computer with a lot of horsepower um, to run the other one that I made for the trailer because of all the different things going on in the scene like the people walking and all the different cars and everything so I don't have that in this just have really the basics of the school and I'm gonna kinda z zoom out and I have just a generic background and so you can see from a bird's eye view here of where the school is going to be okay now I'm kind of kind of come right here where I was in the very beginning and kind of go through some of the settings that you have at the very bottom right now with BIM motion it's set up as in July at 10 17 a.m. so I can come in here and change the month so we're still in September right now for the six days. So this is literally what the environment would look like in September at 1017 a.m. Now, this view 
is predicated on how importantly strong your computer is. So if I come to my settings window here, I can make this a full screen or windowed. I'm gonna stay windowed. My view viewport quality, excuse me, is very high because my computer can handle it. If you are finding some stuttering going on and things like that on your computer, you need to come in here and change this to medium or low. Just depends on how strong your computer is. Okay. None of this stuff is really that necessary. I'm going to change my timestamp though to 12 hours so instead of 24. And I'll just go ahead and click OK. Now, I have 10, 17 a.m. And you can see here, if I move this time, the shadows move. It's 5.30 p.m. It's 6.50 p.m. And look, there's the sun. So if I was to kind of come back, and bring us back up 120 we're right now 1237 p.m. this is the exact placement of the where the Sun would be at this time of day okay well, let's go ahead and kind of push it back to where I had it with some good shadows here at 9:55 a.m. in the morning in September now let's say I wanted to get out of drone mode see drone mode allows me to fly up and down if I wanted to literally walk in this space, I would come right here and click on the feet. And you see I fall to the ground. And now I actually literally walk. And on your machines, you will actually hear footsteps. But in walk mode, I cannot go through structures. Like this door will not open for me. I can't actually go inside the school because I'm in walk mode. If I want to go back to drone mode, I just need to click on this. And I'll do that in a second. But I'm going to click drone mode and now I'm actually able to fly again okay and you'll notice everything is navigational I'm going to walk right now through these flowers and you have trees this is the side of the school you can walk anywhere you want to walk in this scene and this is the most recent mock-up that we have of what the school will look like come next year okay now, like I said, I'm still in walk mode, but if I want to see the school and go inside, I need to switch to drone mode, which is right here. So now I can kind of just fly into the school. I'm in the front office. I'm going to fly past these doors. Here's some offices right here, right and left. Maybe assistant principal's office, um, a disciplinary dean, that kind of thing. Right here, we have a picture of Judge on the wall, Judge Thibodeau. And this is, this is the actual school, guys. This is a 3D representation of the school. Elevator is going to be right here. Okay. I'm going to come through here. This is a little courtyard area where kids can go and have a seat. Come out here for lunch. Okay. These are, this is the stairwell right here. This is an elevator right here. And if I wanted to just kind of come up to that, I'm in drone mode, remember? I can kind of come up here. This is where our media maker space will be. It's what's uh, formerly called libraries, right? This is where the library slash media maker space will be. We'll have a lot of technology in here. We have some study offices here. This is where our video production studio is going to be. Um, so if you wanted to take a look and just kind of go through all that, you can. Okay. You can literally go into each one of these rooms by just flying past through the wall. Now, like I said, if I hit, once again, walk mode, see, I cannot go in there. I can't actually go through a structure in walk mode. It'll block me. But I wanted to go inside, come back to drone mode, and now I can come inside the inner room and take a look. Okay? So, I'm going to quickly fly up out of the area like that to show you other parts of the school. In the back area here, this is where the gym is. Let's fly into the gym. Here's a mock-up of the gym. That logo. Okay. Fly out of here. And in the back of the school, this is a, where the football field is. So if you see, if you came to the school and you saw the posters, um, this is exactly what that looks like. With the football field being there and the school being here. And if there's a certain angle that you like in this program, 
It's called Twin Motion, and Twin Motion creates a packaged file for anyone that doesn't have the program to actually use, and that is called BIM Motion. B I M. Let's say you wanted a nice shot of, let's see, of the school looking at this angle. You can come right here and just take a picture, and it'll save the shot on your computer on your desktop and there it is that's the screenshot I just took from BIM Motion. okay let me kind of minimize that so I'm still in drone mode right here and on my end which you probably cannot hear I hear birds I hear trees have like some wind flowing through them like a forest sound and all of these things are moving. You can see the trees moving there with the wind. Now, what's really, really cool about this, I'm gonna show you from this angle. Not only can we change the months or day and time, but we can also change the weather. So if I come in here, and if I move this slider to the clouds with the rain, it is now raining. And you can see what the school looks like when it's raining. Now, all of this is really predicated on, once again, how strong your computer is. Um, it's possible that you may not have a really strong computer that can handle all this, or you may have one that can, okay? Um, I'll show you what it looks like when I turn down the settings. Let me just click OK on this. And if I change my viewport quality to, like, medium, you'll see see how it changed and then my rain is actually going faster because my computer didn't have to work as hard so the shaders and the textures they're not being rendered like they just were you know everything is not as beautiful if you will and I'll show you what that would look like on if it was on low settings see this is very low settings it reminds me of like a video game like uh, in the early 2000s or late 90s or something Okay, so I'm going to change this back to very high settings for my computer. And now those shaders and textures are rendered with high quality. You can literally see the puddles hitting the ground from the rain right there. Now, in this, I can also change this slider to go where the sun would come out again and it stopped raining. Where it's still kind of wet on the ground. You see the reflection? but the rain is all gone for the day. Not only that, I'm gonna change the seasons, watch this. If I click on this again, I can make it really windy. And you see how my, tr my trees turned orange? That's because I'm changing the seasons. See, they're really green. I'm gonna slide them, they're orange. Now it's getting cold. Let's come back, I'm a little bit too far. We have some snow on the ground. If I come back really in here with this snow, you'll see that the leaves have all fallen off the trees. That's how accurate and cool of a program this is. So now I'm kind of zoom out. Let's you see what the school would look like with the really, really hard snow. And if I did this with um, vehicles and, uh, and cars and everything, you would see snow literally landing on the cars. And if I, if I come back, you can see that the roof is actually blue. So if I come to snow, that's actually snow sitting on top of the roof. Very accurate. This is what's called ArchViz. And our students will be learning this program in our architectural classes that we will have coming. It's just one of the cool programs in our overall STEM program that we are bringing to Lake Charles College Prep, as well as our other two sister schools. Southwest Louisiana Charter Academy and Lake Charles Charter Academy. Now, if I were to move my slider a little bit more, uh, you see the snow is gone. Let's put like about right in there. But you can see the vegetation kind of start to come back a little bit now. And yeah, it's all the way back all the way. Click on my seasons, come back to my time. So to 
to kind of go through all those again, all I did was click on this. Right now, I'm on the time of day, and you see the little clock. Right now, I'm on the weather, so I can just change the weather. See rain, not raining, a little bit of wetness on the ground. I click it again. Now I'm in the seasons, so I can make it snow. I'll make it snow. So, this is the school, and this is. Unreal Engine 4, Epic Games, new program called Twin Motion. Twin Motion, in that program, our students can build three dimensional structures through Arch Viz or Arc Viz because architectural visualization is the same type of stuff you see like on HGTV when they show you a before and after rendering. If you're building an extension to a house or a bedroom or a living room, that they show you what it will look like in real life. This is what this program does. It's a very powerful program that we're bringing to our schools to teach our students. Um, and we're very excited to roll this out to you guys. So um, we're going to post this to our YouTube channel. And um, once it's posted, of course, you guys can comment there. We'll have somebody moderating that where we can see if you guys have any questions installing the program. Um, you want to see what certain rooms look like we encourage you to kind of just come inside some of these um, we don't have anything labeled because if I were to put more and more objects like text or whatever inside of this it would have made it just really more difficult for you guys to kind of come in and look at because um, the more I put in the more horsepower your computer would need to look at what's created okay but this is really cool you know it renders shadows and reflections and I mean everything perfectly um, so once again any questions comment in our YouTube channel and um, uh, we, we look forward to bringing more visuals like this to our community so you guys can see not only the programs that we are bringing but what's actually taking place within the school and in the classroom with all of the exciting, engaging STEM and non-STEM um, programs that our, our kids are, are being introduced to. And not just introduced, but they're becoming actually proficient in. So, And to leave out of the program, you can just go ahead and click the X at the top right corner or you can click the escape on your keyboard. It's going to actually want to quit and just click OK. And there it is. Okay. So I am Julian Guillory, STEM director and technology director for Lake Charles College Prep and our charters, other two sister charter schools here. If you have any questions, you can email me and also comment below on our YouTube channel um, with this particular tutorial that we showed you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.